everyone this is your rachu back again with a new video on a video series of csn and jeff for scientists so first of all i would like to say sorry to everyone since i have to be online i have to be live today but at last moment my mic is stopped working and right now i am here with this video i hope you understand and if you have any doubt any query feel free to ask okay so this video is all about how to apply for a certificate how to go for your award later basically how to start your fellowship okay now as of now most of you cleared either csir jrf ugc jrf or ls i i would like to uh, i would like to congratulate you basically for this now what you have to do is uh, you have to apply for this certificate that is called csir jrf certificate now this certificate is for, for only csir jrf fellows the procedure is only for csir jrf fellows it is not for ugc jrf i will talk later about that okay so as of now you must have three certificates that is uh, your admit card you must have your uh, score card and you must have that pdf where your rank is uh, reflected with your roll number right which is recently launched so three things you have now to apply this certificate first you have to wait unless and until they will uh, reflect official website they will uh, reflect a link on the official website of csir so the official website is csirhrdz.in there you will see the official web uh, official uh, notification for csir certificate csir jrf certificate okay so once you click over there you have to submit some informations like uh, your msc mark sheet you have to upload you have to upload your category certificate if you belong to any category you have to upload ews certificate if you belong to ews then your income certificate you have to give your address permanent address and uh, this uh, correspondence address your aadhar details then your uh, photos recent photos all these things you have to mention over there then then they will provide you certificate through mail okay so this certificate is e certificate a kind of e certificate Uh, they will send you the link for this and this certificate is password protected by them only they will give you the password also so no now this certificate will help you in future for your award letter for if you if you are going to apply anywhere for job you use this certificate not your score card that is different thing okay here your rank is given see all india rank 5 so like this rank is given okay now uh, let's talk about jrf certificate Uh, UGC JRF certificate. Since this is CSIR certificate, no. For UGC JRF certificate, there is no need to do anything. Okay, just uh, wait for uh, like forty days, forty five days. Sometimes they will send you a certificate uh, on your address, on your permanent address, which you used during uh, uh, applying for this exam, CSIR exam. So they will directly send you this thing, hard copy of that. Okay. so no issue even they can mail also now nowadays they are uh, simply doing this so for the ugc jrf fellows there is no need to fulfill all those uh, uh, steps okay now uh, some of you also cleared ls lecturer sheet so for them uh, you will get like this certificate ugc uh, from ugc grant commission and again uh, you have to wait uh, for like some 30 days they will give you the link on the website official website and there you have to put your roll number your uh, application number date of birth and uh, basically mobile number like this one then you you can download this certificate on the website and now this certificate will help you for applying in any project assistant to job or you can go for uh, using this certificate you can go for phd also but you won't get 36000 using this okay a uh, fellowship basically and uh, this certificate will help you for assistant professor also if you are going to apply for assistant professor this certificate will help you so this is uh, basically ls certificate okay uh, here it's already written national eligibility test for assistant professor so using that you can apply for assistant professor now you have all three certificates uh, okay this is your csir jrf certificate i don't have uh, ugc jrf certificate and this is your ls certificate this is ls certificate again given by ugc only now the next step is to apply for award letter and to apply for award letter 
what you have is first you should have this uh, CSR GRF or UGC GRF certificate. Okay, either two of these you have, either CSR GRF or UGC GRF. Then let's see uh, the processes. This is how award letter uh, sent by uh, CSR. Okay, to your respective mails. So to activate your UGC GRF fellowship or CSIR GRF fellowship, even for CSIR also, यहाँ CSIR भी हो सकता है, CSIR, things are same, okay, even for CSIR GRF fellowship, there are two important steps, qualify UGC net or CSIR GRF, get yourself admitted to PhD program. So the fellowship will start only if you will apply any institute, if you join any institute then only this award letter works. Okay. And for this award letter also you have to join first. Okay. That will be easy for you. First join and then apply for award letter. So these two steps could be in any order. One can qualify UGC net GRF or CSIR net GRF after being admitted to PhD or one can qualify first and then enroll in PhD program. Are you getting my point? Suppose you are uh, already in PhD and you are trying to crack CSIR. Say in second year of your PhD, you got uh, this GRF. Now you can go for uh, your CSIR fellowship. Okay. The second step is just after masters, you cleared CSIR and now you are applying PhD and once you applied PhD, now you are applying for your award letter for fellowships. So there are two conditions. So in the first case, when you are already enrolled in PhD, qualifying GRF after admission to PhD program, that is the first case. The scholarship will be started from the date of qualification of GRF. Here it will start, suppose you qualified in the month of December. So from that day only, the fellowship will start. All you have to do is you have to went to your admin block, your registrar office and there you have to uh, give all the uh, proper documents like uh, your this certificates, uh, UGC certificate or CSIR certificate and uh, they will basically uh, complete all the steps and then uh, by next month you will start getting your fellowship. Okay. And the second case, which most of you are uh, waiting for, uh, in that case, suppose you have completed your MSc and now you also enrolled in PhD. Say you are enrolled in PhD now, you are going, going to join uh, any PhD program. So in this case, the fellowship will start from date of admission. It's not a start from like uh, 29th of January. This time we have exam on 29th of January, no. So it won't start from 29th, it will always start from the date of joining. Okay. So let's talk about the first case. Suppose you are in the PhD program and then clears GRF. In that case, what you have to do is you have to send uh, these document through administrative block. So joining report you will send at which date you joined the OM report basically official memorandum report and then continuation certificate that means this continuation certificate is basically that you are uh, uh, you are completing your PhD like uh, continuation certificate is nothing but your attendance like each month they will uh, send this report ki this particular fellow is still working over here okay so those things and then your HRA certificate house rent allowance certificate those things are also suppose you are in hostel in that case uh, HRA will be deducted if you are staying outside then this certificate will send it by this admin block the second case in this case uh, suppose uh, you enrolled in PhD in this case you already know it will start from the date of joining so first you have to clear GRF uh, you have to join PhD program for this again join PhD program you have to get your uh, C, uh, this CSIR GRF certificate, this one, this CSIR GRF certificate you will get and then submit joining report that OM uh, to registrar office 
joining report annexer 2 of the list of the document for GRF so ye annexer 2 and annexer 3 all these things are already provided by your admin block no need to worry about this okay submit continuation certificate HRA certificate again these certificates will submitted by your admin block you have to be there you have to take signatures from your uh, uh, dean or HOD and sometimes uh, your director of institute various places to places okay and uh, continuation certificate HRA certificate is to be submitted every month to the university so again uh, these two certificates is uh, submitted by your admin block initially we have to do do on our own but now things are changed and uh, these processes may vary some places to places okay in different institutes the procedure is bit different okay uh, maybe some time somewhere they take less time to do this somewhere they take more time to do this after uh, completing these formality scholarship will start again remember this scholarship will start from the date of joining okay so you will get this award later now once you will get this award later uh, you have to attach this award letter uh, with your bank details uh, cancel check basically you have to give and all those uh, certificates like uh, JRF certificate and uh, your OM uh, report OM report of official memorandum report joining certificate all those things again you have to send through your admin block to uh, Pusa Delhi uh, CSIR office main CSIR office and by next month by next month the the fellowship will start uh, coming directly to your bank okay so these are the steps so let me summarize what you have to do if you are CSIR JRF or UGC JRF in CSIR JRF you have to submit all the details uh, to get this certificate you have to wait when the whenever the link will be updated on the website I will let you know okay on my telegram channel so for that join my telegram second uh, once you will get that you have to apply for award letter for award letter here are the methods here are the steps for two types of student one who is already doing PhD and one who is just joined PhD so you have to follow these steps and then you will get the, this award letter here price is given uh, here it's already given it's around 36,000 and uh, this contingency grant is around 20,000 okay now this award letter will attached with the other informations like your bank details your check number and uh, joining date again it's sent back to the CSIR office and from there they will clear your all the reimbursement your fellowship by next month okay so after next month you will get so it will take the whole process uh, will take at least three months at least minimum like it okay so this is my first video I am going to upload another video soon uh, by the way uh, offer will end at any time so in case if you are not registered yet to our website go and check this out we are having the best offer list price ever six thousand off and one more thing uh, my next video is regarding uh, how to join institutes how to apply for various other institutes which is the best institute in India how to write SOP and all those things I will cover in the next video so if you like the video uh, then please uh, share it or comment karo or batao kaisa laga so all those things thank you very much